Hello Honors Chemistry and welcome to the Chapter 3 review where we're just going to highlight a few key points from the review packet. So first of all, don't forget that Chapter 3 opens with a big discussion on states of matter and types of matter. And it's important that you're able to talk about states of matter and types of matter and, for that matter, physical and chemical changes and physical and chemical properties at the macroscopic level, right, what we can see with our eyeballs, what we can measure with thing with measure with some basic tools right and tie those things to what's happening microscopically the arrangements of the particles the bonding between the particles the types of particles present right in chemistry there's always a relationship between what we can see and what we what we can then assume about what's happening at the microscopic level right um, so do be mindful about that okay and I would say that goes with all these properties right types of matter. Do be mindful here, heterogeneous mixtures. Uh, we did not mention it in class, but your book does give the example about blood being a heterogeneous mixture, right? And when you think back to biology class, right, your blood, right, we can actually, um, using centrifugation, right, separate it into um, different components, right, based on the red blood cells and then like the, what's basically water, right? Um, and that's key for most heterogeneous mixtures, right, in that if it is opaque, that typically means it is a solid dispersed in a liquid, right? And if we give it time, right? Because like mud, if you just give it time, like give it a day, right? Then eventually the dirt will settle and then you'll just be left with water on the top, right? Um, so anyway, just, you know, something to take note of. Uh, make sure you know those separation methods and that those separation methods, what makes those different from chemical reactions are that we are simply taking advantage of physical properties, right? No, no substance is altered, right? No chemical bonds are broken when we employ those separation methods. Um, here is just, do you understand what's happening? Endothermic, exothermic, right? Um, absorbs energy, releases energy. Um, all right, and then um, here, this is, can you think through what the meaning of that Q equals MC delta T equation is, right? Um, which is important, which things are related and which things aren't. And then here, right, so the heat, the specific heat of a metal, that goes back to the gizmo. That also goes back to the heat demonstration we did in class. Um, these are your energy conversions. Um, and these are your temperature conversions. Yes, your temperature conversions need to be memorized because um, you need to be able to use them. All right, and then for the rest of your review packet, um, we will go through a couple of these in detail. All right. All right. Thank you for listening. Be good, and I will see you soon. Bye.